This morning on today's kitchen, cooking with kids. If you want to get your children to help you in the kitchen, have we got the recipes for you. The beautiful Nigella Lawson, cookbook author, host of the Style Network's Forever Summer with Nigella, is here to show us how to make everything from muffins to meatballs. And we've got some help as well. This First of all, good morning, Nigella. Good morning. Nice to see you. We've got some here. volunteers, right? We have Kathleen here who's going to help us this morning, Caroline, and Nell. So nice to have you all here as well. Nigella, how do you get kids interested in cooking, and why, in your view, is it important in the first place? Oh, well, I think kids are interested in cooking. I think you have to be honest, though. It's not really, they're not really helping you. The clearing up afterwards is a lot of extra work. I was going to say, but, I kind of discourage it when yeah. it comes to my kids. <laughs> but I think it's helpful because I think children are often a bit picky about what they eat, and if they're part of the cooking, then they're more interested in trying out new flavors. And anyway, it's about learning independence as well. And I mean, to be honest, I, I have to say it's partly because cooking is the only sort of child care I can really do. Right. Because I'm not very sporty and all that running about with a football, I'm just not up for. And, so. and, and it is a nice time where you can have some quiet time away from the television yeah. and other distractions and, and really work as a team. It is. I always end up by, you know, shouting. You I do? do end up. I do it at some stage. It's not because they always, I'm sure you're going to be really good, but mine always end up saying, it was my turn to stir. Yeah, no, well, that's also turn. part of but it, though, that helping is them learn to get is, along. Because you have is. a son, Bruno, who's seven. Yeah. Your daughter, Mimi, is ten. Yeah. And they help, well, we have a, actually a photograph of them in the kitchen. <laughs> and it looks like uh, Mimi's getting ready to taste, actually. <laughs> and he's getting ready to do something. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Those are very cute. Well, because Mimi and Bruno are in London right yeah. now, we've got some helpers and... and they're going to do meatballs, right? Yes. So why don't you go ahead and instruct the girls I will. on I'm what they need say, to do. You've got to, you, I know you've all washed your hands, so you can dip your hands into that mixture that's, that's beef and pork Doesn't and that some breadcrumbs. Fun. And roll. See, the children are better at rolling meatballs because they've got the right size hands. Okay. Roll all right. Dig right in, Kathleen. Go ahead, Caroline. Go I'm going to make now. a noise here. And just okay. And basically, how, how big should they be? About the size of a ping pong ball, I, right? And here we yeah, have some I, you here know, that you guys Whatever size they want. If, if they're patient, I often let them make them really small because then they can pop one in their mouth when they're eating their pasta. Oh, know, so okay. it's really whatever you want. There's no, there isn't a kind of meatball controller who's going to come around. <laughs> uh, uh, that's too big. <laughs> so this is, this is beef and pork, right, yeah. Nigella? And, and why is it important to use both of those? Well, you can really use what you want. I learned to make meatballs when I was in Italy, and they nearly always use pork there. And I know this is probably not a a popular thing to say it's because it adds a bit of fat and that just makes and them much adds, more tender I was gonna say and more flavorful yeah. too right but you can but mix you know as you wish and you I use it. sometimes ground turkey meat and I know Nigella you're I know <laughs> <laughs> you you roll your eyes at all my efforts to be no, healthy. No, I don't think but, it's like, really, yes, but it's not even, is good. It's not even, yes. sometimes they can be good if no, you put right. eggs and breadcrumbs yes. and things like no, that. I think they're it not, does work. They're not that bad. Okay, as you they're guys not. roll well, I add away. Bacon, then. Huh? I add bacon if I used to. <laughs> oh, yeah. <So> I <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Anyway, so then you obviously are mixing up yes. the sauce. Which you, I chop really fine. I use a processor to start it off because, I don't know about you guys, but my children Okay, that's good, you guys. You can stop. Oh, you can work on another. Never tell it never, until they start <laughs> shouting and they're throwing meat at us. My mom says, we'll untouched them. by human hands, right? <laughs> they're just there for, for hours. Okay, so keep working. Make, see how many you can make during the segment, okay? They're and then so you did onions? Onions, garlic, oregano, which I put in the processor because they my children hate big lumps of onion. Right. So it's really like a mush. So That's a good melts. idea because my children don't like that either. I know, but you, you know what? My mother never would have pandered to our tastes. She would have just thrown well, it see, in. see, that's what's wrong and with our generation. We, but know. what can I tell you? That's a whole other Oprah, right? <laughs> okay, so you mix so the tomatoes. And so I added tomatoes. And now I do water just because you don't want it too strong. Right. And I'm going to cook the meatballs in here. I don't fry them. You'll be very pleased to know. I don't fry them. I'm shy. I just... <laughs> I know I am a bit too. So do some water. And milk, just which makes it really fabulously creamy. And they do that in Italy, too. I mean, it's a bit... You're like making um, homemade, you know, Campbell's tomato soup or something. Right, but I think you're right, though, because I like... I always like that vodka sauce that has cream in it. <laughs> I know. That's true confessions. No, I love but if that. you just add a little bit of milk, I know, that's good. So good. All right, so then you pop the meatballs yes. in there. Do you want to pop some away. in here? And, and then, then it ends up looking it, like this. Yeah. And then it's beautiful. 
There's something so homey and lovely about that, isn't it? Like that tangle of pasta and then that mountain of meatballs. Yeah, it looks delicious. And then you've brought a few other treats. Yes. You have to tell us about this. These are mozzarella sandwiches. Yes, that's mozzarella and carrozza. You just <laughs> you make a sandwich, you dip it in some egg and flour and fry it. Uh-huh. And then you brought some carrots. That's my mother's favorite salad. That's very good for a lunchbox, you know, because you've got protein with some peanuts. So that's now interesting. Very what kind of sauce is on and there? And it's just oil and vinegar and not that much of either. Oh, really? Quite sharp. And I think that children love raw carrots, but they're like veggies otherwise. Yeah, and then you have to tell us about these desserts. Yeah. Now, Dell and I have been drooling. I'm um, seriously, <laughs> my mouth is actually watering looking at these things because this is my favorite thing. I love Reese's yes. Puffs. This is like the kids, kids can make them themselves. So that's peanut butter and what, what does it have in it? Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they make it, they make this kind of dough which they press in with their hands on a tin and then you melt the Look at they're having so much fun. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, keep it up. It's fine, you guys. No. And then? And that's uh, peanut, crunchy peanut butter and chopped up Snickers into a muffin. Oh, Nigella, you're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much oh, for coming by. It's always great to have you. Girls. Thank you. Kathleen, Caroline, thank and Nell, thank, thank you all so much. And maybe you'd like a muffin now that you've been working so hard, but I think you probably better wash your yeah. hands, don't you? <laughs> Thank you so much for your help this morning. If you'd like any of today's recipes, just visit our website at today.msnbc.com.